pressure pressure lots and lots of pressure knowing that you're going through that door at the outside of the prison into it not knowing what the day was going to bring not knowing where a potential flare-up was going to lead to Well, I responded to an alarm bell with two prisoners fighting. I uh, managed to break up the fight partially by uh, restraining a prisoner, uh, whereupon the other prisoner got up and managed to break my arm with a metal chair. When then something like this happens, you know, you're assaulted, then it brings everything home to you. I didn't realise, you know, how badly it was affecting me. It was my wife that noticed all of this. You know, she's having to live through the whole thing. She's having to you know, see her husband sitting on the sofa just staring into space and things. Just a foreboding inside your belly, like you haven't done your homework as a child, but amplified a hundred times. I started to be on occasion sick on the way to work, actually physically vomiting. Um, my sleep was disordered. My personal relationships were strained. I always thought I'd be covered, you know, that if anything happened, that the prison service would have something in place to look after me. The thing that really cut it for me was that, you know, we have all these things in place for prisoners to make sure that when they come out of prison, they've got homes to go to, um, they've got work to go to, so there's courses for work. And yet prison officers that are injured in the course of their duty, there's nothing available to them.